All right. We are now joined by Kayla Fisher. Kayla got her first professional start the other night in Los Angeles uh, and obviously was uh, very impressive in the preseason, signed a contract with us. Um, well, Kayla, why don't we start with this, just your feeling on getting that first pro start after getting uh, the chance to get your first pro minutes in Houston and I guess what that uh, what that does for your confidence going forward. Um, yeah, uh, going off of Houston, just walking into that first stadium, seeing all the fans was an incredible experience. Um, I think I had a lot of nerves during that first game, getting my first minutes, so I knew what to expect. But then walking into the LA stadium, it was just like three times the fans. Um, I felt like I was going to be a lot more nervous than I was, but when the first whistle blew and I was there with my team, um, it was really just excitement that I was feeling. Um, and then getting the first touch on the ball really calmed my nerves. And I think it was just a great experience to get to play in front of all of those fans, especially as my first start. That was just an incredible stadium to play in. Uh, Michael, uh, go ahead with your question. Um, first of all, congratulations on your first start. Uh, did you have any um, major takeaways or major learnings from the, you know, your first professional start? Um, a big thing that I noticed was, of course, you want to communicate with your team. Um, but in that environment, when fans are screaming, like tensions are high, the game's just getting late and they're just coming down our backs. We just have to have like a reset. And I think I found that there's a lot going on in those moments. So if you can just work to calm yourself and connect with people right next to you, then it's easier to connect as a whole group. Um, I just didn't experience that before because obviously that was the biggest fan that I've ever played in front of, um, biggest stadium. So I think that's one thing I took away. Um, um, uh, other question. So uh, this is probably your first extended road trip as a professional. So tell me how that's going, uh, how you're adjusting to that. Um, yeah, it's going well. I know we had a trip out here to Portland in preseason. Um, honestly, it's really no different. I know that's um, probably not what you're expecting to hear, but living in the apartments uh, with the team, it's kind of extended version of that, living in a hotel now uh, with the team, um, which I think is really important for how we perform uh, at home versus on the road. Um, we try to mimic the same uh, routines, so I think that helps a lot. Kayla, if you could uh, walk us through what you saw in KD's goal, that it seems like we've uh, seen a couple of bangers already for for racing this year. But what was your vantage point on the field, and I guess how you think the press played a big part in in creating so many chances in that first half? Yeah, uh, our press is something that we really harp on, um, and I think that was an awesome game to get to put it to test. Um, and I think we did an awesome job in the first half. Um, from my point of view, I saw Jalen Howell go into a tackle, and I think that's really what started the whole play and got Katie her goal. Um, she slid into the L.A. player, nicked the ball out. Um, Sav got it. I saw Sav play Katie, in, and Katie just had an incredible move um, and shot the ball right away. Uh, I think if she took any second longer, the window of opportunity would have closed, but it was a really amazing finish, and then awesome to celebrate with them afterwards. I think if I, if my lip reading skills are as good as I think they are, I'm pretty sure when you joined the celebration, you mouthed, that was sick. Yeah, <laughs> right yeah that's exactly what it was. I was sick. I was just so happy for Katie. Um, she works super hard. She's gotten a lot of opportunities in that game. And then I think just sealing the goal, um, getting her goal in that game was really incredible, especially putting us up 2-0 uh, at that point. If anyone else has any questions, let me know. I, I just was going to ask you just your thoughts. You've, you've had a chance to see Portland previously. Obviously, preseason is different. Um, but what are your expectations and what are the team expectations for tomorrow night? Um, yeah, I, I know we've come off uh, now three games having a tie. Um, I've seen us string together minutes that are really amazing. Like we've been talking about the press um, in that first half of L.A. I think it's really just putting together two halves. Um, so I think that's our goal for Portland. 
to put together two halves, still bring out our press, do what we can do, get those opportunities, but then how can we allow them to minimize the opportunities that they get so then we can come out with a win? Michael, go ahead. Um, so obviously had a preseason match that uh, very few people <laughs> got to see against, against Portland. So what were your takeaways from that uh, preseason match against Portland? And can you use that to help you prepare for this upcoming match? Yes, I think we can use it to prepare. Um, but at the same time, it was preseason. Um, for me, I was a little new still. Um, so I don't particularly remember the players that were in, but I know preseason people play like trying to get a lot of people minutes. Um, so I know we have to take that into account because I know we did play a really good game. I don't think they scored until the 87th minute against us in that Portland game. So I think just really paying attention to details so we don't let that happen in the preseason game or in the actual game like it did in the preseason game. Any other questions for Kayla? All right. Thank you, Kayla. I appreciate you. Thanks, Jeff.